Hello, this is Abir Sakib Ahmed and welcome to my channel Tutorial Hours. So today I am going to show you what analysis you can do and what things you have to put in data analysis and findings for quantitative research. So I am going to show you the data analysis and findings part of one of my thesis. So here first thing what I did, I did demographic information and I did analysis. So there are four questions about the demographic in this thesis. So in this research, I did frequency analysis and I come up with this table and based on this table, I have described all of this. So after this, I did descriptive analysis where I put all the questions asked in the questionnaire of this research but I didn't put the demographic questions and I can see the mean values of each of the questions and the standard deviations and I can easily measure which question is mostly related and which question is not suitable and based on this table I described like the mean value is 3.93 and the standard deviation is 0 0.17 so the second highest mean score of this question and overall staff behavior of the canteen is satisfactory with the mean value of 3.80 and standard deviation of 0.823 so this is the way you can describe the descriptive statistics so after that i did reliability analysis where i come up with the chrome batch alpha and as i said my sample and my data number is 40 and the chrome batch alpha is 0 0.919 which is quite good because your chrome batch alpha must have to be more than 0 0.7 so that you can go further with this research so after that i did reliability analysis for each of my variable and the questions i have asked like under the, the price fairness of food i have asked four question and my chrome batch alpha is 0 0.741 which is also more than 0 0.7 so uh, I can go further with this research and I have come up with all the chrome batch alpha differently for each of the variables even the dependent one which is student satisfaction after that I did factor analysis where I did KMO and Bartlett test and the results are quite good also here it's 0 0.750 and the significance level is 0 0.000 and you must have to think must have to take in mind that your significant level is must have to be less than 0 0.005 so that you can go further with the research and here i also did the total variance explained and the communicative percentage is 72.751 and I come up with the scree plot and I did all of these researches using SPSS software and after the total variance explained I did analysis of correlation so here I mentioned the Pier Pearson's correlation scale and I did the correlation of each of the independent variable with the dependent variable and I have calculated the mean value which I can show you from my data set. Here. So I 
did correlation analysis for each of my independent variable with the dependent variable and I summarized all of my correlations in one table by using SPSS software. After that I did regression analysis which is very important and I come up with this ANOVA table and the significance level is 0, 0.000 so I can go further and I did, I did coefficient table where I found that the significance level for cleanliness and staff behavior is very less is 0 0.003 and 0 0.001 which is quite good because your significance level is must have to be less than 0.05 if it's more than 0.05 you cannot take those variables like for me food pr food price fairness and food quality the significance quite the significance is quite higher than 0 0.05 so i cannot go with these two variable and these two variable are not related with my dependent variable so after that you can do hypothesis testing where you can describe all of this and come up with a summary of analysis where you can describe your result what you have found like my first two hypothesis is not supported and my other two hypothesis is supported because of the significance level and you can after discussing all of this you can come up with a result like which hypothesis is supporting and which hypothesis is not supporting hopefully this video will help for the new researcher and those who, are, who want to learn more can check my other videos where I have teach and showed the way how can you can use a spaces software to make all of these tables Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.